How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with some fucking barley wine. Uh, yeah, barley wine time in the form of Ecliptic Brewing's Orange Giant. Barley wine ale. Uh, yeah, I've done my fair share of Ecliptic stuff. They send beers to me every so often, hence I do them. See how that works? It's a perfect fucking system. Anyway, um, I've never had this before. Uh, it just looks like a straight up barley wine, which is, isn't too shabby. I just, I had grabbed this glass. I don't know why it's not my barley wine glass. It's like a hazy glass, but we're doing it in this glass anyway. Uh, what does it say on this bottle? It says Orange Giant Barley Wine Ale 2018 Edition. On the back here, it says, Named after the giant orange stars in the sky, this barley wine ale has a gratifying warming effect and drinks smooth. Uh, three malts create a hearty malt profile. Um, I don't like that. Three malts create a hearty malt profile. I like the double malts there. I don't know why. Uh, with robust character. Copious amounts of Chinook and Nugget hops combined with a nice resiny hop flavor. Orange Giant is perfect for aging in your cellar. So we're talking about an American barley wine. Um, you're talking about Nugget and Chinook. So a you know, Northwestern American uh, barley wine, being that they're out, what is it, Portland? Are they in Portland? I always forget. Ecliptic Brewing. Come on now. Portland, Oregon. Earth. They're on Earth. Label-wise, it's pretty much their labels over and over again are the same exact label. It's just slight differences. Nothing wrong with that. Definitely works for branding purposes. So, yeah. Give it a pop. Big hiss. Bit of an aggressive hiss on there. So we're talking about Engl uh, English, American barley wine, as far as the label reads. Um, we can get down with those every now and then. They talked about cellar ability. Uh, maybe it's not super hopped. It's hopped enough to uh, kind of hold the test of time on its ABV because it's not a huge beer, right? I didn't read the ABV in here, and it's, I think it's small. But yeah, 12.5, so it's a sipper or a chugger or a session beer, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, what do we have here? Yeah, that is clear. That is super clear, just like a like washed out caramel. Infinitely clear. Um, yeah, not much as far as carbonation goes in the beer itself. And she's got a pinky finger quarter of it, of just you know, kind of malted malt ball, slightly south that khaki colored head. So, she, you know, for a barley wine, I usually like mine a little bit turbid, a little bit kind of murky. Very clear, no carbonation. Let's get a nose. Yeah, just evaporative alcohol. You know, ethyl alcohol just kind of pops you in the face. Followed by this little Band-Aid phenolic. And then there's this soft kind of rich kind of brown sugar caramels underneath. Yeah, hot beer. Um, this beer is meant to be laid down. It says can be cellared. They talk about this being, it can, uh, you know, orange giant is perfect for aging in your cellar. That's true. Or you could say it should be aging your cellar. I think this one is going to be one that needs to be aged. Yeah, just uh, not too bad, just very, very generic. Um, soft brown sugars, a little bit of soft caramel, but then you get that kind of ethyl alcohol, kind of benefit and phenolic. Let's dive in. Cheers. Not as bad as I thought it would be based off nose. It is hot. It's coming in hot, and you do get a big pop of bitterness on the back end. Um, ends up being a little bit soft dryness, nothing too crazy. That's it, though. There's really, I mean, I thought it was going to be really band aid -y. and super hot. It's more like an alcoholic tea bag. That's kind of how it's coming off. Very tannic. There's no wood in it, so that's kind of weird, but it's coming off very dry and almost like an oaky kind of tannic dryness. Um, that's kind of your evaporative alcohol thing working there for you. And that's it. Really, there's not much else to it. It's, it's pretty much just booze water. Um, and it's probably the worst beer I've had from Ecliptic, which is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, it's really nothing as far as a redeeming quality out the gate for it. The only redeeming quality this beer has, at least for me, is age. This could age into something that could be fun. I, I don't think it's age into something fantastic. Listen, if you drink a beer that ages into something bonkers amazing chances are it was a really good beer from the get-go more times than not you're gonna have a really horrific beer turn into something great it can happen but this is just you know, just a stringent tea-like tannic i mean that's your hops at play there this is just your bittering hops at play which is sugar water behind it and this is that evaporative alpha ethyl alcohol kind of thing going on that's it that's it it's done there's nothing else to it so yeah Kind of a bummer. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better barley ones I've had as of late? No. Value and availability? 
no idea. Uh, somebody wants to let me know, but it's not really worth picking up. So that's kind of like catch 22 and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like tea, but you want an alcoholic version of it, but in uh, kind of if you used instead of creamer, you use rubbing alcohol. I mean, it, it honestly just misses the mark completely. And it's kind of a bummer because I love me some barley wine. And I can be a bit hard on them at times, but this is not me being hard. This is me being honest. And it just kind of misses the mark completely. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a beer better than this one. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>